up guys, it's your girl Foxy here and thanks for tuning in. So today I'm doing something extra special. I am going to tell you how to manifest being pregnant with twins. Now see, a lot of people will say it's genetic, you know, it's by chance or you know, you, you'd probably get more chance of having twins if you do IVF, but people have many ideas and I know what worked for me. I wanted twins, I got pregnant with, I did some things in between and I got pregnant with twins. Definitely not IVF, this was all natural and you know what? I actually enjoyed the process because it's something I deeply wanted, right? So let's get to it. So number one, a few years ago, I'm not long after having my son in 2017, I wanted to expand my family. Like, you know, when you have a baby and you're looking at this baby and you've just gone through the, the birth and everything and you're looking at, oh my God, they're so precious, I want another one. That's how I felt after having my son. And so I wanted to expand my family. And so I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have twins? And in saying that, guys, it felt like, actually, yeah, I kind of want twins. This is actually meant for me. Like, you know, when you think about it and you start thinking, well, what does it actually take for twins? And is it something I can do? Is my body gonna be able to handle being pregnant with twins for um, nine months? Is my body gonna be able to birth twins and then look after twins, the hard work? And I thought, yeah, I can do that. Like, come on. I mean, it's not easy. And, I, and, and back then I didn't assume it was gonna be easy, but I'm always a type to go with the flow and do what you gotta do and do with what you got. So I did some things and guys, let's get to it. Call me crazy but it worked for me. And if you want twins, it might work for you, baby girl. <laughs> so I did, um, first when I got the idea, I usually write it down. And I would write it down in a form of gratitude. I write a lot of things that I want or that I want to manifest in my life in a form of gratitude. Because when you say, um, can I, dear Lord, if it's a prayer, mine is usually through a prayer. Dear Lord, um, I would like, that's almost saying or affirming the lack of it. So I'm always saying, thank you for my da di da di da. So I learned this trick, guys, um, from my aunt, my auntie Nandy. And she is so amazing in manifesting a lot of great things in her life. But in my life specifically, I usually just, I thank you, Lord, for A, B, C, and D. And in this case, thank you, Lord, for my twins. And I started envisioning, I wanted a boy and a girl, and I, want, I thought, oh my goodness, I'll dress them up like this, and ready, ready, ra. And so when that happened, I wrote it down. Then I thought, this is actually, I was starting to get obsessed at some point. And so I decided I was gonna do a vision board. Vision board is my next step of like, I wanna see how this is actually gonna work out. Cause you can have an idea, and then when you actually see it, you think, oh, actually, you know, it's not gonna work for me. And in this case, with pregnancy, I put down, and I'll insert photos here of the specific photos that I chose, um, these twin babies, and I put a diagram of a woman who was pregnant with twins. And these were fraternal twins also, obviously a boy and a girl, but even the diagram that I chose at the time were fraternal twins. So it was in the sense that they had two sex, two placentas. So it was really cool on how detailed it was. I even gave them names. So be detailed in visualizing whatever you want for your life. It's not limited to just the twins, right? Be detailed. If it's a vision board, girl, you better zoom into the, even the outfits you'd put them in. I would even put that on there. And so I put all these, actually I did the vision board. Sometimes it doesn't have to be a physical board. Sometimes it can just be posty notes that you write and attach a photo from a magazine or whatever around your mirror or wherever. I decided to do this on my husband's phone at the time. It was the only thing I had. I think his phone had pages on it or whatever. So I, I took these photos of the internet, I put them on the phone, saved it as the screensaver. Well, sent it to my phone, saved it as a screensaver. So that was my vision board and I still do that. I actually tend to do that type of vision board more so than the, the, the physical one just because, you know, printing stuff off, cutting it out is a bit tedious for me. But yeah, that's what I did, vision board, because then you visualize it and every time you pick your phone up, you see it. It's not like you're gonna be looking, oh yeah, my twins or whatever. No, 
the idea is that it's in passing, but your brain is still taking it in. So your body does the stuff it needs to do to prepare for what it, whatever it is that you want. So it's a physical manifestation of the thoughts and desires you want. So then the third step is more prayer. So I kick this into gear four. I would pray about it every chance I would get. Like I do um, prayers through the day. Like if something great happens, thank you. If I wake up and it's a beautiful day, I, I'm grateful for it. I'm, I'm always in a space of gratitude because I feel when you are grateful for things, you make room for more of the good stuff to enter your life. So I did more prayers and and then when I would interact with my clients, my clients would ask me, you know, just in general talk, oh, do, would you have any more children? And I'd say, yes, I'm, I would like twins next. And then it went from I'd like twins next to I'll, I'll be having twins next. And my girlfriends would look at me like, girl, stop. Like, it doesn't work like that. And my mom actually said that to me one time. She said, she, she just laughed about it. Like, you'd really want twins. And I was like, I'd really love them. And she's like, my goodness. And I said, and she goes, it's, girl, it doesn't work like that. It's, it's, it's genetic, you know, you have to. And I said, I know, I know. But in saying that, guys, I do have um, fraternal twins that run in my family. So my uncles are fraternal twins. Now, my midwife broke it down to me like this. Fraternal twins, um, oh, well, it's a genetic thing to be pregnant with fraternal twins because of the tubes or ovaries or releasing two eggs at a time so it could have been that i had a genetic influence i mean advantage on this possibly but whether whatever it is i got what i wanted so if twins run in your family obviously there's a higher chance of you getting that and on my husband's side of the family also his younger brothers are twins but i think they were identical twins so that's also identical twins is when the egg splits really early after conception so i don't think that is um genetic but anyway nevertheless i didn't know that at the time i was just in my zone of wanting twins and so i would pray about it and, and then i started affirming it so it's this is when you say it out loud right and and you're bringing it closer in the sense that the universe will then conspire to get if, to get or deliver whatever it is that you want to you and so I did this and I would tell people that I'm going to have twins, I'm going to have twins. And a lot of people would be like, really, you want that? And I was like, yeah, I want it. <laughs> and I still want it even now. Like I still, I'm, I'm in awe. Like I look at my babies and I'm just like, this is such a blessing. And I'm so grateful, you know. Anyway, so yes, then you say it, you proclaim it, you claim it. And then this is the important step, right? Well, I think before I get to the next step, I made a, um, a really rough decision to just tell my daughter. It was in passing, and, but I didn't think she'd actually hold on to it. So she goes, twins? You want twins? And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, oh, cool. Should we pray for twins? And I was like, yeah, let's pray for twins, girl. And so she would actually, in her nighttime prayers, pray. Dear Lord, thank you for my twins. And this was Noshe and Nisa. She actually nicknamed, nicknamed them Noshe and Nisa. And so what she would do is um, when she's at school, she would, you know, draw photos of me, her dad, and um, my son and her. And then she would add the twins too. And so she would even write in her writings, she would write there like, you know, thank you Lord for our twins and ready, ready, rah, for putting twins in mommy's tummy. And so this was a big deal at this time in our family, right? And so I think at the time, my husband probably thought I was crazy. And he was like, my gosh, he's giving the crazy to my daughter. Like, <laughs> what's going on? But guys, I truly believed that this is something I desperately wanted and I deserve to have it. You know, like, it's like, come on now. And so what then, the next step that I usually do then the, this is the last step. And the last step, you do it when you feel like you've done everything you could, right? You surrender it. You've done everything you could physically do, the wanting, the, the vision boards, the proclaiming, the affirming, right? You've done it all. And you feel like you're at a stage now where you surrender. You surrender it to the universe. You surrender it to God. And you say, you know what? Whatever happens next is what's meant for me. This is the next best thing for me whether it is the twins or not, but it's the next best thing for me. And the surrender process, you truly have to mean it. And this is a test of faith. 
It tests the faith in the sense that now I've put my faith in God that he will deliver. And because I also believe that we co co-create our lives with God. We are the authors of our lives alongside God. So God is like, okay, you know what? You know, the same way you as a parent, the way you would just give to your children. There's a scripture that I'll probably insert here um, that I really love. Actually, two scriptures that I would insert here that um, whatever you give to your children, what more for God, right? What more will he do for us? Because we will give the most to our kids. You would do, you go to the lengths of the earth for your kids. You would do the most. And so what more for the almighty Lord for us? And because I believe in this and I truly believe in the power of the spoken word and what you say with your tongue, I then said, you know, dear Lord, I surrender it to you. I still kept the vision boards. I would still talk about it. But at this point, it was like, I've done what I can do, humanly possible. Um, now, you know, now we wait for the outcome. And you put your faith in God and you surrender it and you send it out to the universe. And guys, I'm telling you, I got to a point where I would do, like, I think I mentioned in the previous video where I would do pregnancy tests. Because preg every month, like when you're trying to, for a baby, you think every month you're pregnant. Like even menstrual symptoms feel like pregnancy symptoms, right? And so I would take pregnancy, pregnancy tests. And I kid you not, this particular month, I remember just saying, you know what? I'm not even gonna do a pregnancy test anymore. I'm just gonna let it go. And whether I get pregnant or not, and you know, I looked and I said, you know what? I have a boy and a girl. I'm content. And I just let it be. And not knowing, and I think I mentioned the previous video that it was only about four or five weeks later, four or five weeks later that I realized that I was pregnant. And then about another four weeks later that I realized I was pregnant with twins. And you guys, I truly believe the steps that I took and yes, it runs in my family and all that and the desire. I, cr I truly believe I created the space within my body to receive these two beautiful souls. And um, yeah, and so everything since then was perfect, almost perfect. I mean, I have two healthy babies and that were born, you know, a week earlier than we wanted them to be born. But they were healthy we got let out of hospital and they were great and i mean even now i'm still at all guys that i truly physically manifested this and it is a massive blessing and to whom much is given much is required i truly believe that and i'm giving these babies the love as much love as i can okay <laughs> i truly am so grateful for, this is like the biggest testimony of my life yet anyway you know what <laughs> um this is the biggest testimony yet and then it was awesome because then i didn't have to teach my child my daughter about faith and what you know believing in god that god will follow through means because she already was with it and you know for her it's like oh yeah you pray and you get it because she truly got it she got the one thing that we were praying for as a family Another cool thing is then when you're in the space, right? When you're in this crazy space, <laughs> um, in the hoo-ha space, people will, um, you know, you start seeing signs, right? And the first sign, and I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but I'll mention it again um, if you're new here. Um, it, one of the signs that, you know, I notice, I notice a lot, like I, I started seeing a lot more, like you buy a red car, you start seeing a lot of red cars, right? You have a white car, you start seeing a lot of white cars around the, around the place, in particular, the same model as yours, right? The same thing, I wanted to be pregnant with twins so much, I started seeing a lot of women being pregnant with twins. I mean, I think when I was pregnant with twins, I, I heard, I had heard of about seven other women who were pregnant at the same time as me with twins. And before, it, was, it seemed like such a rare thing, right? But anyway, so you start seeing signs. And the first sign for my daughter and I was when we were making Sunday brunch one morning and we're cracking eggs and it was double yolk, double yolk, double yolk four times. And so we were looking at it and we looked at each other like, girl, this is, this is a sign. And she was like, yeah, 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 it's a sign. <laughs> and we got into the space and what it is, I think it's, it's you just, you know, 
dwelling in it and 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 not knowing that subconsciously your body is doing the work like subconsciously my body was probably like let's pop out two ovaries like what's up (laughs) and um not two ovaries let's pop out two eggs what's up you know and get this lady some twins anyway um it happened for me and if you do these steps you know i really wish anything you can apply this on anything Girl, if you want a dress or some cute shoes, you know, you you do it. You you do whatever. I mean, most of these things are materialistic things anyway. But I think I had been doing this on materialistic things until I did it for the twins. And then it was like, wow, this actually works on bigger things too. So um, I've been doing it and and it's something I'll always continue to do throughout my life. It just works for me. Um, But yeah, and I wish you guys all the best and I comment below if if this resonates with you, you know, or if you've done this before, I'd love to hear from you. I think it's important to also surround yourself with um, like-minded people, you know, or people who believe in similar things to, to you because then you get to draw on that positive energy. But yes, ladies, that was my story on how to get pregnant with twins. Um, I am sure y'all were expecting something raunchy, (laughs) but no, no extra positions to be taken here. Um, It's just how I got pregnant with twins naturally, and this is what I did, and the outcome was there, so I was pretty happy, and I hope this works for you if you're here and you're wanting to be pregnant with twins. Um, Thanks again for watching. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to do that notification bell so that you can get more of my videos. Um, Yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Ciao.